The nexus between monetary policy and inequality has come to the fore in recent years, Keeping interest rates very low for very long following the great financial crisis has led to the perception that central banks have been increasing wealth inequality. Low rates have boosted the prices of assets disproportionately held by the wealthy, notably equities. The COVID crisis has brought further attention to these issues. Fundamentally, inequality is not a monetary phenomenon. Its long-term evolution has structural causes, such as globalization and technological change. While such forces have reduced poverty and inequality across countries, they have raised inequality within countries. The structural remedies that are required are way beyond the reach of monetary policy. That said, there is a lot that monetary policy can do. Inflation and recessions are major drivers of inequality over the business cycle. Monetary policy mandates are designed precisely to prevent inflation and economic instability, including financial instability. So, monetary policy can help address income and wealth disparities as economic conditions fluctuate. Financial recessions tend to be deeper and longer, and hence generate more inequality. Central banks have to cut interest rates by more and keep them low for longer. This boosts employment and supports the incomes of the most disadvantaged, but it can also raise wealth inequality in the short run. And it can contribute to the slow buildup of financial imbalances, sowing the seeds of precisely the kind of recession that is more costly in terms of income inequality. In other words, financial recessions have given rise to more complex policy trade-offs, making the task of monetary policy trickier.